let me go through the other possibilities for what I'm going to bring to Canada. And I'll be taking them off the hangers as I go through them because I'm packing. <laughs> I'm just bringing you guys along for the packing. So uh, let's see. First thing I'm thinking about is the shirt from, um, I can't remember her name right at the moment, but it's a uh, first or one STO. 1.st.o on Instagram and she hand makes these shirts and this is a custom shirt she made for me and it is embroidered and it's beautiful so I think it's really cool because it'll be casual for Canada but at the same time it, I cannot fold and talk to you guys at the same time apparently. Anyway at the same time it is a um, really nice uh, comfortable shirt for an and stylish shirt for the trip. So anyways, trying to fold it like Marie Marie Kondo. She's my idol. Not really. All right. Look at that. That's so nice. And if I put it like this in my suitcase, I know what it is. So that's that one. This is a shirt I made for Minerva Crafts with their fabric that they gifted to me. And I've already posted it on Instagram, but it's super cute. It's McCall's pattern. Um, I think I'll probably have an opportunity to wear this, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to set it in like a maybe pile. This is another shirt from, um, you know what? I'm going to look up her name. I think it's Isadora, but I could be wrong. But anyway. This is from her as well. I love it. I've also posted it on Instagram before. It's embroidered. And I'm going to be bringing this for sure because it'll go super cute with pretty much everything that I'm bringing. And I love the shirt. So, and then I think I'm going to bring this one. This is a common stitch pattern uh, made out of linen. It's really good for the plane because it's like warm when it needs to be, but it's also breathable and I pretty much wear it like every time we travel. So that's that one. Um, this is a um, ready to sew pattern. It's actually a tester pattern um, that I made and it's the Julian and it's really, it's called the chore jacket. Well, she calls it the chore jacket, but it's named Julian. Um, and I really like it because it's really good for um, just like being casual but also being cute. So it's made out of my avocado dyed linen. So I think I will bring this because this will be really versatile for the trip and um, cute. So and the colors kind of go really nicely with all the um, pants I've made. Oh man. This is one of my favorite tops. It's a new one. I'm not sure if it's practical for me to bring. I made it with some Minerva fabric. It's a Vogue pattern um, that I'm going to blog about soon for them. So I'm going to set this one in the maybe pile, even though it's super cute. I don't know if I'm going to have a practical time to wear it. This is a new top I for sure want to bring. It's actually really comfortable. And it's made out of some cotton lawn from Promenade Fabrics. I haven't posted on Instagram yet, but um, it's uh, Anna Allen Clothing Lottie Blouse, and it's hacked. She has a um, tutorial on her website on how to hack it to make it have like puffier sleeves like that are shorter and for it to be just like poofier in general and then to have a tie at the top. So anyways, this I have not made but I take it everywhere with me because it's just a jean, chambray, whatever you want to call this, like button down that I just like tie around and wear like over other stuff. So I just take it with me all the time. I absolutely love it and I would make one, but I don't need to because I already have one and it's awesome. So I do wear clothing I haven't made. It's rare, but I do. Um, there's no sense in giving away perfectly good usable pieces of clothing that I completely love. So, um, this, I mean, do I need to say anything about this? It's amazing. It's one of my favorite shirts and it's stripes and you've probably seen it like a thousand times on Instagram, but I love it. So yeah, 
that's definitely coming with me. Um, am I going to look ridiculous hiking and all this stuff? Probably not this shirt, but maybe some of the other ones. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm not trying to look like a hiker. I'm just going to look like me. So that's what sewing has done for me. It made me super confident and it made me like just love life and not care about what anybody thinks. This is one of my favorite patterns. It is the Petula shirt by Republic de Chiffon. I will never forget making this shirt because it's supposed to, when you cut it out, the seam allowances aren't included in the pattern. And I didn't really read that until I cut it out. So I made it without that. Um, I just made like really tiny seam allowances. I think I did cut out the collar again because it's so tiny and I had enough fabric for at least that. But the rest of the shirt's so big I didn't really worry about it. So anyways, it's one of my favorites. It's all gathered in the back and um, yeah. It's like y'all are getting a preview into my closet. When I give, I was going to do a tour of my closet at some point. When I do that you're just going to be bored because you've seen it all. But anyways, um, yeah, this is definitely coming with me because the color is awesome. It's comfortable. It's breathable. And if, it, if I'm cold, I can wear some long sleeve shirt under it. I do have some long sleeve just like um, camping, like merino wool type shirts that I haven't made that are just awesome and warm. And I'll probably just bring some of those and I can just layer them under like all this stuff. They have like a crew neck. Um, and so, yeah, I'll probably do that. This is just a cardigan I've made, ready to sew Jamie cardigan um, that I wear all the time. You know, you wouldn't think that you would wear a yellow cardigan all the time, but I do. Well, it's mustard, you know, mustard is amazing, but um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it. It's got pockets and these pretty little pink buttons, so. I've watched it so many times, like the fabric is good um, quality, but it's starting to like get a little bit balled up, but that's just, you know, good and worn. <laughs> Anyways, I need my suitcase because this is piling up. You're not going to be able to see me in a second. It's all going to be like over my head. All right. So this is an I Am Patterns blouse or sweater, I guess, and I made a long time ago. Um, I actually blogged about it, I think, and I've got some arrow, is that arrow mountain buttons? Yeah, arrow mountain buttons on there that I love. Um, and yeah, it's kind of cute because it's got like the, like it puffs out because these are tight and so it makes the sleeve like a little poofy. So it's like a glorified sweatshirt which is really cute. And I'm gonna bring it along because um, it's comfortable and it's cute and I might wanna end up wearing like long sleeves and sweatshirts more than other stuff, so. Um, this is my Adrian blouse, my very first one. I've made like four now, I think. Uh, maybe five, I don't know. And it's my favorite. I love it, I wear it all the time. This purple color literally, or lavender goes with everything and this fabric was like four dollars a yard and this was like my tester practice version and I wasn't even planning on like keeping it for that long because the fabric is is good it's okay but it, it the recovery on it's not like super amazing but um but like I just wear it all the time I love it so much it's crazy so yeah and this is another Adrian blouse surprise surprise um, this one I made from Lamazi fabrics and it was art gallery fabric, which is like the best knit ever. It's the first, um, knit that I fell in love with when I started sewing, but, um, but I bought it from Lamazi fabrics and it was on sale and I shortened the sleeves a little bit. It's on, I have it on Instagram, but it's a, uh, Adrian Boss from Friday Pattern Company, I forgot to say. Um, that, do you think I have enough clothing yet? No. <laughs> These are pajamas. Look, I have made some pajamas. I talked about in the last video how I have no pajamas, but I have made these a long time ago. They're closet case, um, Carolyn pajamas, and they're a little wrinkly right now, but that's them. And I think I got the fabric. It's just quilting cotton from um, Hobby Lobby, I think. And anyways, I love them. I wear them all the time, so they're definitely coming with me. 
Um, I am not sure if I'm gonna bring these Ray pants from uh, Name Clothing because they have the slit like all the way up the leg. Definitely too breezy and flowy for hiking. It's too much of a slit to like be practical to like walk around in and, and stuff like that. So I'll definitely have to think about that, but I'll put it in the navy pile. Let me go a little faster because I'm tired of talking and I really need to put all this in my suitcase <laughs> like yesterday. So um, here are, oh, oh, sorry, here are um, some RNA pants, the original ones, and you can see the pockets sticking out a little bit. Um, I talked about in the last video how the pocket um, is flatter in the newer version I made, but I love these like equally as much. They're also in silk mall. They're definitely coming, no questions. Um, this, these are my original lander pants. I don't know why I said really original because I've only made one pair, but anyway, these are the original like pair of pants that I made that were like, they were the first ones. Perfect for this trip. They fit really well and they're definitely coming with me. Um, these are my white Philippa pants. I'm gonna bring them because it's fine. If they get dirty, I will have shout with me, so yeah. Um, which is a stain remover in case that's not everywhere. <laughs> um Here's some French Navy now cowier pants and I really love them because they're really comfortable and they're silk wall and they're versatile and they're easy to walk around in and so if I'm going to decide not to bring the white pants I might bring these because I think I have a lot of pants right now. <laughs> um, but I normally bring like skirts and stuff like that and I'm not bringing any of that so I don't think I need shorts like I hardly ever wear shorts. I don't know what it is about like I just don't want to show my legs or if I just feel better in pants. Like I like to wear shirts that are not at that I don't cover as much but then like wear pants with them and so um yeah I don't know. I'm just not a shorts person. Like I don't feel like they're flattering on me. I do however want to make some high-waisted shorts because I think those are super cute but and I might bring like one pair I have uh, one pair that I haven't made yet um, not one I haven't made yet I'm sorry I have one pair that I haven't made that are a little bit high-waisted that are cute so I might bring those um and yeah I have some collats that I might bring here um, they're the Joe they're called the Joanne tra they're real wrinkly right now but they're called the Joanne trousers and they're from ready to sew. I've worn them a lot on Instagram and a lot of my uh, pictures. So this is the problem, you guys. I am addicted to natural fabrics, like natural fibers. And so this is what happens when you fold them. They are so wrinkly. So I am not gonna change what I like. I just love it. I really struggle wearing any polyester. Um, you know, in any shape or form. And so I'm just stuck with a bunch of wrinkles and it's fine because I will get out the main ones like in the morning of, and then whatever wrinkles accumulate throughout the day, I just don't even worry about it. But like I will de-wrinkle them to put them on, but that's about it. And I bring my steamer with me and it's super nice and it takes like five seconds. So it's not really that big a deal for me to do that, to enjoy wearing a type of fiber that I love all day long. So uh, it's a small price to pay, I feel like. It's not that big a deal. Um, and then there's one more thing right here and I have been looking at it like for the last 10 minutes and wanting to show it to you but I just can't remember the name of the pattern so I've just been like skipping it over. <laughs> um, it's Tasuti Patterns Monroe Turtleneck. There we go. Okay, so I remembered. Um, so yeah, this is uh, made out of some style maker fabrics. Uh, I guess I think it's just sweater knit, but it's not super warm. Like it's warm, but it's not like super hot. So I think I'm gonna bring this because it's a good color and it'll be really pretty with some of the other things that I have made. Not these purple pants, but maybe other things. <laughs> you know, the white, whatever. Um, so yeah, pretty much all of my clothing can be mix matched. I will probably um, wear things multiple times. I probably don't need to bring any more 
Although there's a shirt in my head that I'm thinking would be good to bring, but I probably should just leave it in my closet. Um, but yeah, I think I have enough. So that's good. Thanks for helping me uh, pack. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was really long. Um, but I think that the moral of the story for me is that packing used to take me so long. And now that I have made all of these things, I love them so much, like completely and totally. So I end up just like grabbing them and putting them in my suitcase and things just kind of go together because when I'm making things, I just kind of like think, what do I have already? What color would go good with the stuff I have already? And so things just automatically match. Um, and so, yeah, it's gotten so much easier to pack and to like decide what I want to wear for the day. I have a couple of jumpsuits that I'm probably going to bring. I may bring my Soho 7 um, Burnside bibs, but I'm not sure because the pants are like, they're made out of tinsel twill and the pants are like real flowy and like, probably will get caught on everything so I may not bring them but they're so cute so I may not be able to resist anyways <laughs> what is it oh you made a shirt come here okay my daughter Emma I'm sorry this video is like miles long but we're just gonna show you my daughter Emma made a shirt oh it's so cute baby I love it and she made this hat she's been sewing like crazy ever since I told her there are no rules you have no specific project you have to do. I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna look at your stitches. I'm not gonna make you pull out stitches. I'm not gonna make you use the right color thread. You can do whatever you want with your sewing machine. And that's all I had to say and she's like exploded. So apparently we started sewing the wrong way and now we're sewing the right way because I'm leaving her alone. And she's 10 and she's precious. I love her. Did you pre-wash your camera? Probably not. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's it's really big, so we'll be able to wash it. It's cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's enough for today. Look at that little surprise you guys got. All right. Well, love you all so much. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Um, I would love that. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear any comments that you have. Um, any questions you have, anything you want to say, anything like if you just want to say hi. Ending a video is so hard. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, well, I'll talk to y'all later and have a good day. Bye. Oh. I'll just go right in next, right into the next video. Okay, so, all right, so, let me go through the other possibilities for what I'm going to bring to Canada.